In this video, let us look at this uh, tablet scent Chroman, also called Chaya. So this is a non-steroidal oral contraceptive pill. That means it is for contraception. That means what? You cannot get pregnant if you take it, right? Um, oral by mouth you can take it and then pills it's tablet it's already written here tablet it is 30 mg in each tablet it is non-steroidal that means there are no hormones so scent chroman means what it is actually the drug name is ormel wait wait ormeloxifene okay ormeloxifene is the name of the drug it's also called as chaya saheli etc okay so it's already written here see it should be like this it is not for having baby it is for not having baby actually i would put something like this twice a week that means two tablets every week right for three months and then once a week so because it is once a week it is very useful right you can uh, just take once a week tablet and keep a contraceptive however this has not become that popular though the government of india is very proud that it is a uh, India made in India product so <clears throat> now these are the uh, tablets so here you can see uh, eight tablets are there why have they given eight why eight it's a month supply I'm thinking so initially you take two right first week second week third week fourth week so this is completed in a month but later on this will come for two months right when you uh, take once a week right this will come for two months okay so let's see what is written behind this as well as okay chaya 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 now where is the leaflet that comes with this so this is the leaflet that comes with this guys focus this is just a one single paper printed on both sides so uh, here we are starting with english right what is chaya and then in other languages it is available this is uh, hindi chaya kya hai and this is um, Gujarati, it says below here, right? The same questions and answers. And then this is, uh, uh, which language? Marathi Chaya Kai Ahi, I think. And then this is um, Punjabi, which I am not able to read. And this one is Sindhi, it says. Okay. So now let's get started with technical details of this. Let's not read the leaflet for a reason. The leaflet is for a user, right? So we are going to read the technical information. So please look at this. Ormeloxifene is a SERM, that is Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulator. It is developed by CDRI India. It is non-steroid, that is, it, you are not consuming anything that is containing hormone. Now, um... One second. Okay. So it doesn't have hormone. We already told you. So basically it is going to perform estrogen antagonist action. Okay. In uterus. So what is it? Selective estrogen receptor modulator. So it is working on the estrogen receptors. So it is having an antagonist action. So anti-estrogenic activity only it has. I'm trying to put a cross mark on the laptop. Yes. So it has anti-estrogenic action. Okay, and um, basically what it does is uh, uh, some asynchrony it creates between the uterus and the embryo, embryo so that the embryo will not implant. So failure of implantation, anti-implantation. So that is what they should tell you. It is anti-implantation, selective estrogen receptor modulator. If people have dysfunctional uterine bleeding, that is DUB, they, this can be a treatment because it will reduce the bleeding. Isn't that great? Okay. Now, look at this. Um, this is having a long half T half. That is why you can take once a week and be so happy with it. But not initially. Initially, you should take twice a week for three months. That is 12 weeks. Then uh, if you stop and you want to get pregnant, you can also get the fertility returns within few months. Oh, this is a great tablet, but not that popular. Okay, we will go with what textbook says. Textbook says whatever textbook says is the best. Okay, next. Um, where are we? What are the side effects they have asked? Yeah, side effects, menstrual cycle will be lengthened. Then, uh, then uh, nausea, headache, weight gain, fluid retention, rise in BP, prolongation of menstrual cycle, we already told you. These are the side effects. However, these side effects are not as many as the hormonal oral contraceptive pills. Okay. So, what are the hormonal oral contraceptive pills? 
be having this is the oral contraceptive pill sorry this is the emergency pill but still hormonal so this is mala n this is basically you can see there are 28 tablets every day okay they are saying to take but this is uh, hormonal okay so basically the video is not about this uh, mala it is about it's not about emergency contraceptive pill either it is about this one that is saheli chaya scent chroman or meloxifene or meloxifene yeah so i think now it is time to read the information that is given to the patient right through this leaflet so the answer is what is chaya chaya is scent chroman it is actually or meloxifene and this is a non steroidal oral contraceptive pill non steroidal means it does not have hormones but it is going to still control your estrogen levels in the body the tablet itself does not contain hormone oral by mouth contraceptive to not conceive pill tablet how does it work does it have any side effects first of all how does it work it causes asynchrony uh, between the embryo and the uterus so the embryo cannot implant in the uterus okay so there is no disturbance to anything else uh, what are the side effects we already told you there is prolongation prolongation of menstrual cycle in some women that is the menstrual cycle uh, normally 28 to whatever you say uh, that can get prolonged but it is not known to cause any other side effects as uh, the hormonal contra oral contraceptive pills hormonal um, contraceptive pills whether it is oral or whatever uh, it causes lot of side effects that's what they are saying this one does not cause that much side effects however this has not become that popular why they didn't tell me okay now um coming to how to take it right so you should take it on the day the bleeding starts the day the bleeding starts right you will take and you will take twice a week for 3 uh, months we already told you this so many times so if you take the first pill on sunday the second will be on wednesday right and then again you will keep on doing this sunday wednesday sunday wednesday sunday wednesday and then from the fourth month you will take once a week okay as long as you don't want to get pregnant and this is a free supply by the government of india if i already told you it is a free supply okay not for sale now uh, when do you take it so basically they are calling it as chaya day that is in the first 3 months twice a week right so you will take if you take sunday then it wednesday if you take monday then thursday tuesday if you take basically on the day that you start it's pretty simple okay fourth month onwards you take once a week whenever you take sunday you start it then continue every sunday 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 like that first pill is taken on the first day of the menses from there you will know how to proceed in some cases chaya usage may cause delayed or scanty periods in first few months we told you it will reduce the bleeding and it may cause long cycles okay but then after sometimes after some uh, uh, taking it will normalize the periods yes initially it will cause these problems okay so i hope this is clear for you so based on the uh, first day of the uh, what do you say period that is which that will decide your chaya day so this you will give the patient this and say till then you use some other type of contraceptive but once the period occurs on the from the first day you start taking this tablet let us say the first day of the period is sunday right then you will take the sunday then wednesday sunday wednesday sunday wednesday sunday wednesday for uh, like this how many packs you will empty three packs you will empty from the fourth pack onwards what you will do you will continue on sunday every sunday you will continue so this will become a two month pack for two for two months this will be enough okay you understood right now what happens if pill is missed so if you miss the pill it can cause pregnancy that's what they are trying to tell you and if you miss the pill let us say take it as soon as you remember it if you have missed within like uh, like seven days uh, you have missed okay then you just continue the same schedule they are saying but you have to always use a additional contraceptive they are saying if you miss more than seven days then you will have to start all over again like this table uh what should i do if i have a missed period then you have to see it will sometimes it can cause a lengthy menstrual cycle but you should always you can check that you are not pregnant isn't it so what are they trying to say here essentially they are saying that if you have missed your period greater than 15 days okay then you consult a doctor okay 
Better to you do a UPT and then go to the doctor, urine pregnancy test. What are the other health benefits of this tablet? Remember, not having that many side effects, remember. And it will also help if you have excess bleeding, right? Dysfunctional uterine bleeding. And it will never affect your hypothalamus, pituitary, ovarian axis. That is, imbalance will not happen, they are saying. Okay. Next, um, other health benefits then. Do not take the pill if you have the following conditions. If you have ovarian problem, don't take. That is polycystic ovarian disease. Means um, there are, uh, yeah, the person is not able to ovulate, right? So this will cause, um, they will already have weight gain, etc. in this. And lot of estrogen they will have. And um, what will be there in this? Infertility, right? Cervical hyperplasia. So if the cervix, where is the cervix you will ask? Let's see. This is the cervix. And uh, so the sperm enters from here, travels all the way. And somewhere here only it will um, fertilize the egg. And then that embryo will travel here. And the embryo will try to implant. So what this um, scent chroman does, it will not make the uterus ready for implantation. Okay. So that's what it does. Let's open this and see one. So this is the tablet which is coated. Looks like. Let's break it and see. So here is the tablet that we are trying to read. So let me taste it. It's not awful. Okay. So this is the uh, tablet that we just checked the taste etc. Which you don't have to do. Now coming to continuing where we were. Where were we? Which question? Um, you should not take. When you should not take? If you have polycystic ovarian disease. PCOS. PCOD. Don't take if you have cervical hyperplasia. That is if this um, area is. Uh, you won't know that you have hyperplasia. But this hype cervix if it is overgrown hyperplasia then you should not take then that's what this says this information is not there in the textbook note that recent history of clinical evidence of jaundice or liver disease if you have any liver disease and you have kidney disease don't take because these are all have to be metabolized right these drugs then if you have any allergic don't take okay if you have tuberculosis don't take because tubercular uh, tuberculosis drugs that you take to treat tuberculosis they make the oral contraceptive pills fail so you should not take okay and in this case, wherever you are taking tubercular drugs, oral contraceptive pills will fail. You will have to use other methods of contraception. Okay. Is chaya safe for lactating with mothers? See, basically this is secreted in breast milk. So this is what you have to focus on. It is secreted in breast milk. So the baby will, it will reach the baby. The or, what is this? Or meloxifene will reach the baby. Okay. Uh, that is drinking breast milk. So you have to be cautious. Okay. You let better. Uh, it's not contraindicated, they are saying, but it is better you consult a doctor. Okay. How effective is Chaya as a contraceptive? So, the pearl index, they are saying, it is reported as 1.13. Basically, what is pearl index? It is the effectiveness of contraceptive. It's the failure. So, basically, the number should be small. So, here, what is good? Oral contraceptive pills actually are good, good but these are the hormonal 0.1.1. Okay, uh, look at this. Basically, oral contraceptive pills, these are hormonal. I'm seeing levonorgestrel and combined means they have both estrogen and progesterone. They have 0.1. And now this one says that it is 1. It's a pretty high number, I feel. Okay, 1 per index. Okay, you got that right. So it is not that it is super duper effective, but yeah. If one is taking chaya, when should she consult a doctor? If you're taking chaya, you should consult a doctor every 12 months. In addition, if your periods are delayed more than 15 days, do a UPT and then consult the doctor. Okay. So we are done with scent crow man. It's not for man. Remember, it's for woman.